currently celebrating 40 years on the road, which I think puts them around the, um, the same um, um, era and generation as the Rolling Stones. Possibly. Ah, there's, a, there's a new title for it. The Rolling Stones of ballad bands. The legendary Dublin balladeers, the Wolf Tones, continue to be one of Ireland's biggest box office attractions. Sold out prestigious venues during the last year across Ireland, the UK, mainland Europe and the US. And the Tones join us now to tell us about uh, what they've been up to and, of course, the fact that they're uh, back at home for summer and uh, there's a whole range of gigs that they're going to be telling us about. Good morning, lads. And for Good those morning, of you, America. on the off chance that there's somebody who doesn't know who you are, Brian Warfield, Noel Nagel, Tommy Byrne. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Tommy won't talk because he's the moody one. <laughs> Lead singers are like that, he's aren't they? He's not awake yet, man. No, That's the problem. The sound of the bar is not very The sound of the bar is very, very, very um, Lads, 48 years. You yes. know, whether you like the Wolf Tones or not, doesn't matter. 48 years at that level in the business that you're at is a hell of an achievement, Brian. Well, it's a long time. It's been a long and winding road, but we've had some fantastic times over the years. We played all the major concert halls in the world, you might say, from the Albert Hall to the Paris Olympia, Carnegie Hall, you name it, the Wolf Tones have been And you're there. still doing it, though. We're still, we're still doing it, yes. <laughs> and as long as we have our health, I think, <clears throat> And as long as we have, uh, uh, we keep enjoying it, we yeah. continue. How do you keep the, the, the brand fresh? Because, you know, I mean, it, for my generation, the Wolf Tones meant one thing. And obviously, it was a different era, socially and politically. Yeah. But, like, that's all gone now. Now, I know the, the Republican side of it is, is important to you. But that's not people, you know, people don't rally to that flag anymore. Now you are effectively entertainers. So how do you keep the brand fresh? Well, we, what's, happening to, what's happening a lot of the shows, Mark, is that... Um, we're having people come to the shows that their parents had been to our shows before that. Grandparents. And they were all, <laughs> no, but they, they've grown up with our music by hearing it in, in their own homes mm. with their parents playing our music, our LPs as they were back then. And the kids have grown up with that. And they are now coming to our shows to hear, to hear that well, music. Well, I mean, the astonishing thing, for, somebody who, for, for anybody who's never seen you live, it is quite astonishing because you are effectively an acoustic ballad band. Yes. But you can take the roof off a venue better than any rock band with... Ten times the amplification, and I mean anybody who's been to a Shem Sakoshli or who's seen Correct. it will know that. I mean, if you want a band to blow the roof off, the tones can certainly do it, and you yeah. don't need amplification <laughs> for it. I think it's the music. You know, the, there's, there's great spirit in the Irish music, and it was music that carried the Irish people through the the awful turmoil they had over the years. And uh, it, it it's a total reflection of Ireland. It, you know, the ballad that is the story of Ireland and uh, all, all aspects of it. Do you, find, no, uh, do you find it kind of sad now at the moment because, look, you've always done huge business, but you're doing huge business again with Irish abroad because you go to Australia and you now have as many Irish people coming to your gigs there as you would have had at home because we've a new generation emigrating. Well, that's true, yeah. We're not, we, just last Fe February, March, <coughs> we did a, a US tour and then we continued that on out through uh, Australia and from there into the Middle East and then back into Ireland again. But it's true, I mean, the emigration has started again and there are a lot of Irish kids and people, uh, especially out in Australia. Yeah. And um, like they just love to hear uh, our music and hear the message. Well, it's sad you've been through this cycle, was it, three times now? Anyway, look, people want to know where they can see you at home because it's a kind of a rare event now. It's, in fact, it's an event. So we're going to put yes. the dates up on screen. Good. You've, uh, you're going to do a track for us and it's a very familiar one. It's Manana Hair or your version of it. Yes, correct. Okay? Yeah, yeah. And it comes with a full orchestra. Now, the orchestra's <laughs> hidden away behind there out in the garden. <laughs> so they I need to shout very morning. loud and I will cue the orchestra for you. <laughs> and when you hear them, you can take it away at your own pace, lads. All right? Thank okay. you. Uh, you can roll it there, Gordon. Pardon.
shouted from every mountain, from every mountain on high, and the four winds will sigh.